Perhaps more than any other military craft, the missions, technology, and development of submarine fleets are closely guarded secrets of the world's navies. Submarines are incredibly powerful pieces of military hardware. Nuclear-powered, stealthy, able to carry ballistic missiles, and capable of traveling deep under the sea in areas largely yet unexplored and unmapped by mankind. Today we'll be looking at some of the most powerful submarines of the future. Submarines at present. First, let's talk about the submarines of today. The United States and Russian navies have largely dominated the field when it comes to cutting-edge submarines. Both have spent much of the past few decades updating Cold War models and designs, but as the pace of technology moves ever faster, they have begun work on a new generation of submarines to meet more contemporary needs. That said, there have nonetheless been many improvements made on submarines in the last several decades. The vast majority of submarines in service today are nuclear-powered and designed to never require refueling. Broadly speaking, they use acoustic quieting to make themselves difficult to detect and, where missiles are concerned, are armed with a combination of ballistic and cruise missiles. The major fleets of submarines today belong to the US, Russian, British, French, Chinese, and Indian navies though Germany, North Korea, Australia, and a number of other nations either have a small number of submarines or are working on the development of new submarine models. Missile Technology While as late as the 1980s, the vast majority of submarines used basic torpedo technology, in the last 20 years, those only fairly aimable torpedoes have been replaced by wire-guided torpedoes like the US Mark 48. These smart torpedoes can identify a target and even be steered remotely from within the sub. And if you think that sounds advanced, Russia, Iran, and Germany are all said to be developing rocket-powered torpedoes which use a self-created air bubble to reduce drag, as well as multi-role torpedo containers so they can shoot more and different projectiles with and at greater speed. Perhaps most notably, the in-development Russian Leica-class submarine, according to Russian state media, will carry Zircon hypersonic anti-ship cruise missiles. The US Navy, it may be no surprise then, is also intending to equip submarines with hypersonic, that is, faster than supersonic, weapons. Both anticipated submarine programs will use a vertical launch system to fire their missiles. Though, with the array of powerful weapons expected to be on board, we can only hope they won't have to. The lead vessel of the Leica-class submarine is expected between 2027 and 2030, and the lead vessel in the US's future submarine class, the Columbia-class, is anticipated to be commissioned in 2031. Size the biggest submarines out there today are the Typhoon-class Soviet-designed ballistic missile submarines, which have a 48,000-ton displacement and have been in use by the Soviet and later Russian Navy since 1981. However, Russia has ceased production on this class of submarine, and it is unlikely we'll see other navies attempt to match the Typhoon-class's size anytime soon, as Russia found the building and upkeep of such a large vessel to be prohibitively expensive. Today, only one such vessel is in active service. The British and American navies are currently collaborating on new classes of submarine, the aforementioned Columbia class and the HMS Dreadnought class, and while they will have many new features, their planned size is only between 17 and 21,000 tons of displacement. At present, the largest submarines in active duty outside of the Russian Navy are the 18,750-ton American Ohio-class vessels, meaning the Columbia Replacement Class, with a projected displacement of 20,810 tons, will become the United States' largest subs. That said, they still won't match the Typhoon-class or projected new Bore-class subs in development by the Russian Navy, which will have a planned 24,000-ton displacement. Technology and Communications As with the rest of the world, technology is where submarines stand to see the biggest change. Tech that was once only available on massive supercomputers that could hardly be fitted to a submarine is now easily available to sub-designers. The upgraded technology will apply to missiles, where automatic weapons may soon be available. Communications, where subs may now be able to communicate more clearly and at lower frequencies with those at sea level, and even in automation of the ships themselves. While there are no self-piloting submarines just yet, 
There were rumors at one point that China was building one, though those rumors to date have been unsubstantiated. In fact, they likely came from the fact that China's most recently unveiled sub lacked certain features typically seen on submarines. However, these features are likely rather being replaced with other, newer forms of navigation and sensor technology, as they are in many other nations' new submarine iterations. That said, it is not far-fetched to think that underwater warfare and surveillance may soon involve remotely piloted drones and autonomous craft, as is the case with air travel and land vehicles. The flip side of the rapid advancement of technology is that, with added computer systems, these updated submarines may be increasingly vulnerable to cyber attacks. And, perhaps more concerningly, though new sensing capabilities and increased communications may make things easier for those on board, they may also make these new designs of subs easier to detect. So new technology must be developed in parallel to help keep submarines stealthy. We know, so far, that new classes of submarine may include devices to drown out their noise or otherwise create decoys to lure those who might be looking for them. The effect has been described as similar to that of noise-canceling headphones, wherein the submarine would send out counter-frequencies. This is more practical and requires fewer compromises than working to make submarines increasingly difficult to detect by design. An increase in mapping of the ocean using new sensor technology could also create a change in the way subs are run day to day. Rather than patrolling deep water assuming they are undetectable, they could use sensor technology to know in which areas they are least detectable and work from there to make use of a network of autonomous and remotely piloted craft. That may well be the landscape of the underwater espionage of the future. Look and Design all that said, China and Russia have both been showing interest in submarines that are exceptionally quiet. Russia has returned to the use of Varshavyanka class diesel-powered subs from 1980, with significant upgrades installed, that are known for their stealth technology and relative undetectability. If we're talking about cyber attacks, these are especially important, as it's believed that Russia has used them to tap into internet cables along the ocean floor. China, meanwhile, has been working on an entirely new shaftless, rim-driven pump jet propulsion system which is said to be almost entirely silent. While little is known of the submarine that China revealed, fully formed, in 2018, surprising global intelligence agencies, if this system's development was successful, it is entirely possible it is already in use by the Chinese Navy. On a more aesthetic note, submarines of the future will likely look similar to the ones of today, but will likely be lacking more old-school features like the periscope, which is anticipated to be replaced with a less structurally compromising external fiber-optic imaging system. This, combined with ever-increasing stealth requirements, means that they will likely be sleeker and smoother from the outside than their predecessors. Built for Comfort Sticking with a slightly cozier line of thinking for a moment, details of the HMS Dreadnought, the United Kingdom's half of the shared submarine development program that's working, stateside, on the USS Columbia, will have a variety of new features for the comfort of the crew, in addition to all the technology and weaponry we've described so far. The Dreadnought is planned to be the first Royal Navy submarine to feature a classroom and study area and will have a designated sickbay, separate women's quarters and bathrooms, and modern gym facilities. It will also feature new oxygen and fresh water generation systems and an innovative lighting system to allow the crew to simulate night and day while underwater for long stretches. Given that submarines can now stay submerged longer and dive deeper than ever before, it makes perfect sense to update them to include additional comforts to improve the experience of longer missions for those serving on board. Other Developments while the US, China, and Russia appear to be set to dominate the underwater field for the foreseeable future, other countries are also working on their own new submarines which will be interesting to follow as they develop and launch. Perhaps most notably, the major defense manufacturer Lockheed Martin is contracted with the Australian Navy to work on what's being called Australia's Future Submarine Program. While, at present, they are still in the designing phase, construction is set to begin in the early 2020s with introduction of the new, high-tech attack-class submarines slated for the early 2030s. 
Little has been decided to date, or at least little is known, but Lockheed Martin's early renderings certainly appear world class, which makes sense, given that they are perhaps the number one contractor to the US Armed Forces, the largest and most advanced combined forces in the world. Though most of the cutting-edge development in modern times is done by world navies, there is, additionally, a market for private submarines where one can see a variety of interesting non-military developments in submersible technology. Some of the most intriguing new developments of the past few years, which could be applied to military tech or otherwise affect the submarines of the future, are worth a closer look. While not necessarily devastating, one particularly interesting private submarine model is the Deep Flight Super Falcon, an almost jet engine-shaped personal submarine for two people that offers maximum underwater maneuverability, can dive up to 330 feet, and requires minimal maintenance and upkeep. Those hardy deep-sea diving vessels could be of great use to smaller navies or for shorter missions if adapted to include the requisite stealth features. Another, more tourism-focused deep-flight vehicle is the Merlin, best known as Richard Branson's Necker Nymph. While it can't dive quite as deep, it is slightly more widely available if you have $25,000 for a week on Necker Island. The ocean is, to date, largely unexplored, but as underwater tourism grows in popularity, we may begin to see more of the world's below-sea nooks and crannies mapped in greater detail. And when it comes to the most creative new sub-designs of the modern era, nothing beats the Killer Whale Submarine by Hammer Schlemmer and the Sea Breacher and Sea Breacher X, which are jet ski-like submersibles built to closely resemble a killer whale, dolphin, and shark, respectively. If the world's navies are having trouble going unnoticed, maybe they could borrow some of this sea life disguising technology. That would be futuristic and fantastical, to say the least. And there you have it. Those are some of the most incredible and potentially devastating developments we're likely to see in the future of submarine technology. That said, because global powers keep their plans when it comes to submarines close to the chest, it's possible there is much we still don't know. What do you think? Does it make sense to continue developing new submarines? Or will all this research and funding be wasted thanks to increased ocean surveillance? Are there military developments in submarine tech out there that we don't know about yet? Weigh in down in the comments section below, and don't forget to hit the thumbs up to let us know you liked this video and subscribe and hit the notification bell to make sure you're updated when we post more incredible facts like these to this channel.